Kyoto Squawk Squad Rangers, I hope you had an awesome day yesterday. We've had a, a terrific amount of videos come in from your teachers again. We've seen exactly what you've been up to, whether it's Morpheo masks running about outside or a stunning amount of trading card games, bird trading card, game, card games from Zealandia and watching you guys learn all about your native birds. I've loved hearing all the facts and all the ins and outs of our native birds and exactly why you like them. I've got to tell you my favorite native bird. My favorite native bird is the Kia because it's the only mountain parrot in the entire world and it always reminds me of the mountains and I'm a big fan of the mountains. So there's my favorite bird for you. Now, coming to the grand prize update, of which thank you to all the keen bean squawkers out there that are getting out and recruiting all their fun and friends. Uh, we can't thank you enough for helping save our native birds. But without any further ado, the top 10 classrooms leading the board at the moment, we have at number 10, Hikarangi School Room 8, at number 9, Clearview Primary, Class Home Base 7, at number 8, Mount Big School, Room 4, and number 7, Ahopi Beach School, T Classroom T Wanganui, uh, number 6, the Tororoa Area School, Room 5, number 5, Plateau School, uh, Kiwi and Power Class, number 4, St. Joseph's Catholic School, Apodaki, number 3, Kiri Kiri Primary, Room 18, number 2, We've got Waikafai School, Mokoroa, and number one for the third day in a row is Belmont Primary, Room 14. Well done again to all of you getting out there and helping save our native birds and fighting these predators. We can't thank you enough to get more recruits. Remember, take this sheet to them. And it's not just about writing the details on the sheet. It's making sure that the recruits you make go out and do this online. This is your chance to be part of a predator-free New Zealand. We're giving you the power. Awesome. Now, coming up today, we're learning all about our seabirds. We're kicking it off with a great clip. Get ready for it. It's all about the petrol. This is the third time that we've come out with a group of fishers and it's just an amazing experience for, for myself and for the fishers, well really for all of those people who come out to be able to spend this time with Biz and really get a, a really clear understanding of the black petrels and, and how they breed and how they live and how they feed and, and why this work is so important. The issue with the, with the black petrels has been quite seriously endangered. The major threats to the petrels nowadays um, have been identified as, as through fishing. So that's commercial fishing, recreational fishing, um, as well as the land-based predators and things. And as a commercial fishing company, we feel a pretty big responsibility uh, to do what we can to make sure that black petrels don't get caught, simply. So we're here to do what we call our chick banding trip, our chick trip. So we're here to band all surviving chicks in our study burrows. So this is one of our study burrows, burrow 226. We're going to get Alan here to put his hand in and things. So the burrow entrance is here and the burrow is all under this big chamber here. So there'll be a, a, a chick in here hopefully. And if you get something that really bites seriously hard, it's probably an adult. <laughs> get a prize from <laughs> There go. That's the newbie twitch. <laughs> Walk him out, yep, that's it. And then just when he gets a little bit closer, just sort of make sure he's gather his wings in. That's it. Nicely done. We record sort of what stage he's at, so he's sort of mostly downy still. So you can see that his wings are very short. He's just beginning to get his adult feathers through. So this is what we call pin feathers, and they're coming out of these shafts and getting into like so soon these, these are very short, they'll be much longer when he's nearly fully grown, but they're just coming out. So he's losing his down and getting adult feathers and things. But now he gets an individually numbered nice new ring. Because they've got nice flat legs, you put them up, and so they just sit nicely on the leg. Put them into a, a weigh bag and see how much he weighs. And that just gives us an idea of body condition. So he's 
8.20. So not bad for that stage of, of development. And now the trick is to walk him back home. He just put his head in the burrow and a bit of his bit of his body and let him walk in. And he should probably know his way home. <laughs> they are an endangered species and we are about environmental sustainability and that's part of, you know, as fishing. So it is a major issue and we're not there to catch birds and we you know, we've got tools and things in place to we're trying to avoid it. We have uh, got such tools as a Tory line, which all vessels have, and that protrudes behind your boat with tassels on it, and that's designed to scare the birds away while they're feeding. And it's also up to uh, management while you're sitting. Our skipper and crew is chucking on weights at appropriate times to sink your gear, as not to attract and cause the birds to feed. We're asking all of our fishers to undergo seabird smart training, and um, that's becoming a criteria for fishing for Aotearoa fisheries. Additionally to that, uh, the training covers all the things that you need to do to make sure that you're fishing in a seabird smart way. It's not just about education, but it's also about really understanding the effect of fishing on, on these birds and, and how these birds are in their natural habitat and, and understanding how important it is that the parents come back to feed the chicks for the survival of the species. So it's really important we protect these breeding birds that are present here. There's only about 2,500 breeding pairs left and every single one of those birds are really, really important. If one of those birds gets caught on a fishing boat or by a recreational fisher, um, that, that chick in the burrow will die. One parent isn't enough to sustain it. They can't get enough food uh, to, to keep that chick alive. They're only found on the on Great Barrier or Little Barrier. They come here to breed, so this is the only time they're actually on land. The rest of the time they spend at sea. They migrate to South America for our winter, so spend the summer over there feeding up and getting back into condition to come back to New Zealand. They live for between 35 and 50 years. Um, we've still got a female here who's breeding quite happily at 33 years. We've been studying her for the entire time, so we know how old she was uh, when we banded her. And uh, yeah, she's still breeding and yeah, still trucking along. Every single bird is, is important and particularly every single breeding pair is important. So it's really, really vital that everybody works together to, to protect these birds. We hope you enjoyed that clip on our petrol. Now you're gearing up to learn all about our seabirds. But before I tell you that, I've got to announce the daily prize winner from yesterday. Now a big congratulations to Kiwi Class from Plateau School. You sent through an awesome video explaining what your favorite native bird was and why you loved the kiwi so much. And well done, you've won yourselves a tour of Zealandia Sanctuary in Wellington. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to get there. It is an amazing place. Now, gearing up for today, learning about our seabirds, we have the daily prize of which Moana is providing free Squawk Squad shirts to the top three classrooms of today. So we really want to see everybody get involved, send through your videos. What we want to know is one, we want to see you doing your activities, but two, we want to hear why are seabirds important? That's what we want to hear about today. And the top three class classrooms are going to get our Squawk Squad Ranger t-shirts. They're pretty awesome. You can see them on our website if you want. Otherwise, guys, I'm not going to hold you back any longer. Oh, I am. The last thing is gear up for Friday. We have a big announcement to make on Friday, a bit of a surprise that we want everybody involved with. So you've really got to pay attention this Friday. But otherwise, guys, today, have a lot of fun learning about our seabirds. <laughs>